what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? A producer on The Apprentice that helped put Donald Trump, your president, in the White House has said that Donald Trump made some unfathomably despicable racist comments while on the set of the show. Is that any surprise? The producer goes by the name of Bill Pruitt, and he was on NPR's Embedded Podcast when he said that there are tapes that exist they are somewhere in some warehouse. This is not a huge surprise because speculation that there were offensive remarks on our takes of the show first emerged in the final days of his election campaign when Access Hollywood released a leaked audio tape of him bragging to Billy Bush about committing sexual assault. Now, again, no surprise, this is Donald Trump. This is one of those dudes who go beyond locker room talk. It's not locker room talk when you talk about committing sexual assault. I've been in locker rooms. I played football. I boxed. I played basketball. I never heard anybody bragging about committing sexual assault. I never heard anybody talk about committing sexual assault. So let's get that straight out the gate. What's very, very disturbing about this is that everybody knows that Donald Trump is a sexist. Everybody knows that Donald Trump is a racist. Everybody knows he's a rapist. But nobody seems to care, especially the Christian community. The Christian community are his strongest backers. They love his dirty draws. Anything that he does, they're cool with. And nothing that he does, according to scripture, is Christ-like. The thing is this. Instead of hurting his reputation. Whenever those tapes come out, and I suspect they will, it's going to rally his base because his base thrives on racism. That's what they're really about. They can talk about economics and capitalism and health care law enforcement, protection, all that. They can talk about all that stuff all they want. But the bottom line is that as long as it benefits racist policies, they're going to support it. They're going to ride with it. Furthermore, to be a Christian and support this dude it dilutes the whole religion. How could you be okay with that? Now let's talk about the producer Bill Pruitt and the other producers and staff members who were present when Donald Trump was spewing his hate. Why didn't they challenge him if they were so offended by these remarks? Why didn't they walk out, quit? That's too much like right. They took the check and bounced. Now we know why his children didn't bounce because they're racist too. They were there. So they're used to their daddy talking like that. They talk like that. Their children, I'm sure, talk like that too. That's what they are. That's who they are. But for the producer to come out after Donald Trump gets into the White House and he had this information, it lets me know he ain't about Jack. 
he's just as bad as Donald Trump. Because if he cared anything about the feelings of other people, then he would have came forward. If he had any integrity, he would have walked off the job. He would have said something on the spot. At the very least, he would have challenged Donald Trump. Hey, man, that's not cool. He would have said something. We know he was the big bad boss. But sometimes David got to stand up to collide. So, why didn't he say anything? And his actions is an extension of all do-nothing people. All people who walk around acting like they're decent and I'm not like them because I don't use that language or I don't try to purposely hold people back. I'm not like them. Yeah, but you see what they're doing and you don't say anything. You see what's going on and you do nothing. So guess what? You're just as bad. Ain't nothing special about you. Silence is consent. No more talk. What, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.